Never before, nor since, has anywhere in Northern Ireland suffered on the scale Oma did. And so 20 years to the day, hundreds chose to be together, to remember that, and to honour the dead. Every one of them acknowledged by the toll of a bell. One chime for every man, woman and child murdered right here. Northern Ireland already had its bloody Sunday and Friday. Oma became its bloody Saturday. And this was one of the defining images, police officers carrying away children's push chairs from the bomb site. There was a lot of children, and that was, you know, even to this day, you know, there's nights at times that you'd wake up and you still hear that, that harrowing sound of children crying. And, and children squealing, looking for their parents, and parents looking for their children. Donna Marie and Gary McGillian were pushing one of those buggies. Their toddler niece, Breda, was to be flower girl at their wedding the following week. Breda died in the bombing. Donna Marie would lie in a coma for seven weeks. Her injuries so bad, doctors gave her just a 20% chance of survival. I was given the last rites on four different occasions. So actually the, the priest that gave me the last rites actually co-celebrated my wedding six months later. So yeah, that was, that was pretty special. Half a year later than intended, Donna Marie and Gary were married. And after all the heartbreak, it was something for the whole town to celebrate. There's so many people here, my God. 20 years on, while the survivors and the bereaved believe it's right to remember, they won't be defined by it anymore. There is life after dark, and, and let's get on with it. And we have, you know, we have moved on. Today, push chairs at the bomb site denote not tragedy, but progress and possibilities. Oma manages to look back and to look ahead in the hope the massacre here will always be not just the worst, but the last. John Irvine. ITV News, Oma. Oh